Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines 2. In today's video I've loaded up a brand new map because I'm going to be building a city of the future. Much like Saudi Arabia's The Line, which I recreated in the first game. Maybe I should give it a go in this one too. What I'm proposing will be a dystopian heaven where the rich will live in luxury high up in the sky, looking down on those peasants that actually make the place work. So I'm starting off on this map because it's nice and flat. It gives me a lot of scope to make all of this work. So I think what I want to do to start off with, let's just make this road slightly longer. So yeah, we'll add on another 200 meters. Boosh. Hang on. Hang on, that's what I've made it. How did I make it wonky? All right, delete, take two. That's better. Perfectly straight. You don't want a bent one. Anyway, from the edge of this, I think what I want to do, I want to do roads at the back. So actually, if I take a road off this direction to end up there, and we line all of that up. Yeah, okay, I think that's better. Now, I'm going to use a little gravel road just to mark out like a little grid. But basically, we're going to be starting like that. And this is where this is where our first residents are going to live. So we'll bung them in there. They should start building. I've just realized we haven't got water or electricity again. So before we get too far, let's shove a water tower, I guess, there. That's water for people. That's good. For electricity, I'm actually I'm going to pause the game before we get too far so that people can play in. Uh, we're going to put our first step in because uh, this is this is one level. And basically, we want we want the rich people to go up in the sky. We're going to have the poor people, the workers, they're going down. So if I try and shift the terrain down, I, mean, I think I want to go about 100 meters, to be fair. So, right, if we push the brush strength up to 100%, then we should be able to get nice and tight. And so basically, if I carve that out, then we have our next step down. Down here, we'll do another road at the back, and then another road at the front. And this is the level down where, like, some industrial stuff will start happening. So I think we need... We're going gonna need some power aren't we so can we get a coal plant in there oh it's quite it's quite long it's a long boy so if i just delete like that road hopefully i can fit it on the end yes like that boost okay so now we have now we have a coal plant uh, but these two floors they're not connected and whilst i whilst i don't mind people dropping down a level i don't want people to work up like people i don't want to give them hope that they can like get out one day so we're gonna have to do one-way roads that go down so if we come off there and then go down we can do like a corkscrewing staircase road thing oh, except we can only get to that depth oh i literally i can't go lower i can't go lower okay forget about the tunnel but i can do something like this which gets us down to the next floor that is <laughs> that is not a neat solution okay so we should now have yes we have electricity we just don't have any sewage outlet so what i was thinking if i if i just delete a small bit of road well actually where i deleted that i put a big old retaining wall in oh that's better can i do that the whole way across so if i delete that then replace with a new bit does it put a big old wall in oh no but it's gone really wonky oh no why has it gone so what oh look how lumpy it is <laughs> oh no the architectures really have got involved on this one i don't want it to look like that let me get the ground back <laughs> That's horrendous. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfectly straight again. So if I just swap that bit of road in, then yes, we've got retaining wall all the way along. Nice. Okay, so now just clear that back just so we can we can see our lovely retaining wall. Beautiful. Oh, look at that step. That is what I'm talking about. Right, okay. So whilst that first area is in that's residential we've then got industrial down here so this is where people are mostly going to work all right so that's going to get the city sort of running a little bit uh, downside though still haven't fixed the poo issue i think that's where we're going to do another step down i really thought i'd be like building up first but we're really just building the staircase down all right if we punch another hole down oh goodness that went a little bit too low <laughs> How many contour lines did I do there? Hang on, I just need to count all of these. One, two, three, four. Two hours later. 6,789, 6,090. Okay, it was actually nine major contours. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think there. So if I do that all the way to the edge and make the rest of it that deep as well. All right, and that's good for our next step level. So we'll get our roads in the bottom we want the same width as before all right then we got to get our staircase in which is a bit of a pain to build i won't like we go to that point and we come off there go that way whilst going downhill oh no i'm below it <laughs> see this is why it's a pain to build <laughs> 
Okay, so another staircase in. I don't know what that what that post is doing all the way over there. But down here we'll have more industry. We also need to we need to sort the poo situation out. So we're gonna need one of these. Now what I'm thinking, can I delete that little bit of road? If I just get rid of that, fill up the land to the edge like that, and then can I put oh it doesn't fit, it's too wide, it's too wide. Right, hang on. What about now? Yes, there we go. Okay, so we are pooing on on the road below. We're gonna be dumping our sewage off one level onto the level beneath so <laughs> so that's how dystopia works uh, and to be fair we got some we got some commercial i feel like the commercial should probably be like on this level oh i've just painted the entire thing oops did not mean to do that let me keep half of it green half of it blue there we go so we got some people living here we got some shops here we got the industry down below this is where the electricity is made and then below that this is probably the level that the architects live so since there is demand for housing i will put some housing down here um, i'll also start working on the next level down yes there may be a level down from architecture so let's punch a hole again oh such a big hole grab the right level which hopefully is about there all right so you got the next level down sorted okay what i wanna what i need to do next is actually like we're not we're not going to compete with the line with this we're like we've just made we've just made like a, a rubbish pit basically we need to look after rich people if we're going to succeed so what we want to do we want to start building upwards so we go push then we can select a level i think we're doing like 90 meters so grab that level and then start building the ground up like that right and we have our next platform so we can put our road in like that oh and look we're a tiny village i've been rewarded from a dystopian city actually this is quite a nice little life lesson like in order to get these like these crazy projects you've probably seen in the middle east you need all this stuff working first like you can't you can't just start with the line you need the workers you need the the logistics the resources the areas to store poo you need all of that before you can build these so yeah nice life lesson matt well done anyway we can then get the next staircase in so that's all the roads done let's get some let's get some houses up here so we want the low density housing definitely that's where people are going to want to live uh, what we may have to do we may need to swap some of like some of the low density here with the medium density because no one actually wants to live in medium density housing so if we swap those ones with medium density then the people that did live there they can like move up to this point and um, oh actually i need i need stairs up there or well, not stairs this is this is stairs i need roads now what i was thinking rather than keeping like this sort of monstrosity thing i was going to go sort of out of bounds like a sort of hidden area around the back hopefully that will allow me to get up thing is roads can only go up 50 meters i think so what i was thinking a little hack that i've learned if we take the level terrain tool we go directly in the middle and then we just put a little bit of land over that way then we should be able to road over with our one-way road because yeah look we're down to that level we can then just level that off and then from here we can we can keep going down so we'll do down to there down like that down to that point and then we can connect up and then from this angle the thumbnail angle you can't see all the roads but we know that they are actually connected so people can get from up there down now they can't drive from down here up uh, i think though people should be able to yeah there are there are footpaths so people can walk up that way they just can't take their cars up here anyway there's still quite a lot of medium density demand what i'm thinking we swap down here this is low density housing yes it's in the poo but we swap that with medium density because we want people crammed together because the more people we can get down here the more workers we have uh, and speaking of which we do have industrial zones so we need those down there as well uh, we have unlocked health care and death care so let's get a medical clinic and i think we'll put that sort of on the ground level one or maybe we should do that up here the only rich people have access to health care don't they so we'll put that up the top so you want to be healthy you've got to go up we've also got access to to the the landfill and hang on let me just let me just delete that pylon boosh i think landfill should probably go one one below actually in the meantime there's demand there's demand for low density living so i'm going to build another step up so shift terrain tool we so we put another level up go right to the edge we really got to make the most of all the space space is limited in this city so we got that in once again we got to do the roads so we want two lane roads from corner to corner perfect grid lovely jubbly so we've got to get people moving in so residential up there uh, there is more industrial demand so let's shove that down i was gonna see down this level i've already done industrial down there that's not good 
<laughs> yeah, by the way, this level is actually flooding with poo water. I feel like maybe I should do my next level down before things get too pooey. Let me just mark the edges. Let me do that. That's all the land we have, by the way. We can't go further unless I buy more. Maybe I should have made my staircase wider. All right, so anyway, more roads at the bottom. So that is the next step. Oh, no, and I just, I've just rained the poo down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, quickly, let's get industrial in. Also, I need to try and build these one-way roads before it gets too pooey. Right, okay, so that next step is in. I think now we punch another hole. Not that deep. And that's going to be the actual bottom. Okay, so we got road all the way to the very bottom. We'll put our landfill down here. And then just draw these to fit as best as we can. There's like pillars in the way that I can't go into. I think though, if I turn snapping off, I can just put little holes in my area. So if I do that, and yeah, okay, so we can put little, little holes in. So we'll do that. So we got a landfill down there. I'm then going to go and unlock with my, my single point. I've not been rewarded for this. We're still a tiny village, but I will unlock a crematorium so we can burn the bodies of the, of the deceased. So... <laughs> Let's shove that. Oh, there's that. Oh, ooh, ooh, there's not actually that much room down here. So we'll put the crematorium first. Then we'll do the road. That's got to go from both sides. Yeah, like that. All right, then we'll just bring the the trash boundary to the edge of it. I'm not disrespecting the dead here. We've just got we got space that we need to make the most of. And to be fair, this is probably where the where the dead of the like of the poor people are going to go anyway. For the rich people, we'll give them like a proper cemetery up top. But yeah, let's just get all of those all of those areas painted in and dust. Really. There we go. Right, and then oh no, we haven't we haven't connected this properly yet. Hang on, so we need ground at that level, and then that level, and then that level. Oh, and an in between, blimmin' out to that level. So hopefully we can do roads between all of these. Okay, one way road from the top. Right, so we're slowly slowly making it down. We just got to do replace the ground with that level ground, and we should be able to continue from here, but going lower and just keep going down as much as we can. <laughs> Oh, this is such a long way of doing this. All right, so there. Then we can replace the ground with the next level down. So that one. And just keep going down as much as we can. Until finally, we can go back down to ground level. Oh, where I've realized I could have just connected to that road. Yeah, why didn't I just connect to that road? Oh, man. Okay, remember that next time. We don't need to go all the way down to the bottom. Let me just check from this angle. Yep, still, <laughs> still hidden. Lovely. Uh, so now we should have electricity, water, and sewage up there. Yeah, we do. Decent. Uh, let me just see. How big is a cemetery? Oh, it's huge. So if I put one in, we're going to lose half of an entire step. Uh, by the way, quite a few citizens now. Up to 154 population. Not too bad. People actually quite happy, aside from the polluted air. But they're just... It's just the poor people that are complaining about that. I mean, their houses have been swallowed by poo anyway, so it doesn't really matter that there's air pollution. There's literally liquid pollution. Like, why have you bought garden furniture? Just buy, like, a lilo or something. I don't know. Anyway, there is commercial demand, so let's replace some houses with that. I'm thinking these low-density ones there, you don't deserve to be low-density. You deserve to be shops. Only rich people are allowed houses. All right, we got some... We have some demand for some, some medium density. So what I'm thinking if we just replace like maybe these ones next to the medical center let's get a few medium densities on floor two we've got low density above i think i need to go up again don't i already so if we just do the next then we get rewarded by becoming a small village and given 700 grand so we'll get our next roads in fanny about with the one-way roads again all right and then i can just connect to the next one so it makes that a lot quicker flatten out all the land again i say quicker it still took me like 10 15 minutes <laughs> I'm so bad at this. But yeah, oh man, I, did I know I could do this? I'm not sure I knew I could do this. This is giving me an idea for Engitopia. A very nice idea. Anyway, we need to get, look at the demand. Everyone wants to live here. So low density up the top, get them in. Oh, look, we've unlocked proper medium density now. So let's replace those with some medium densities. Yeah, there you go. That has satisfied demand. I'll probably put some shops like on this corner, perhaps. That will do the commercial because then we got the low density up the top. I'm going to add another floor as well. Well, oh, and then education. Where does education sit on our ladder? How rich do you need to be to be educated? Yeah, probably one floor above the hospital. That's good with me. Let's shove that there. They should rebuild houses around there. Nice. Okay, so we finally have educated people. So that means I need another floor. So that... <laughs> 
<laughs> that is looking good. This is exactly how I pictured it. Um, it actually seems to be doing okay. We're losing 2,000 quid an hour. Oh, we're actually losing population. No, we're not. We're gaining one population an hour. Nice. Good work, everyone. Happiness is starting to go up. Um, but there is... Oh, there's all sorts of pollution. The polluted air is ruining my happiness. But unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do to uh, to fix that. So sorry, guys. Anyway, we'll get these roads in. And then what I was thinking, if I delete that end road and do a road somewhere somewhere down the middle, sort of like that. And can I fit in a cemetery? Oh, I can. Oh, it's such a good fit. It is such a good fit. Let me just go check. As we're walking around the cemetery, it's not like dangerous anywhere, is it? So if we head out here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, probably could use some safety railings here. But you get a lovely view of like everyone beneath you. Like, yes, you are dead, but you made it. You made it in dystopian society. Um. Anyway, as we walk around, we got to watch out for some potholes over around this side yeah just as dangerous oh goodness camera's gone mental but yeah we get people living in the middle as well and then oh we need to do we need to do roads for them oh the roads are such a ball ache i'm not gonna lie all right okay finally it's done so let's just get rid of all that excess land we don't need then when we press play the warning lights go everyone up in the sky is happy <laughs> I can't believe this city's working. All right, so down here, I think replace that with commercial. Also that with commercial. And then replace the row housing with proper medium density housing. Yeah, right, there you go. That is good. Look how... <laughs> Look how few warning lights there are up there. But then when you look down, it's just like, help us, help us. Well, actually, what? Hang on, what's going on here? Oh my goodness, what has happened? What is that factory doing up there? That's not how a driveway should go. That's been architectured. Look at the fence. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's not right. Let me unzone this area. Yeah, I think I accidentally zoned like the, the top edge. Oops, still sorted now. And since there's still so much demand to live here, you know what that means? We're gonna have to add another floor. Okay, right, I've added a few levels. I've, <laughs> I've spent way too long getting these roads in. Let's finally neaten this thing up so we get rid of all of those horrible bits of land. So there we go. We have the workings behind the scenes. Hopefully from this angle, you can't see it too much. Oh, you, you can see it. Oh, poo. Let me just flatten these spikes as well. They should not be there. All right. And then I've just been replacing some of the low density, like lower down ones with medium density and commercial, trying to satisfy all that demand. Uh, we finally unlocked the the firehouse. Oh, I need it somewhat near the top, but at the same time, I need it down the bottom because it is it is a job. So we'll place the firehouse there. Lease house, same sort of thing. It's still a job, so I don't really want it too high up. So already the rich people up the top, they can't afford to live up there. It's too expensive. Well, you're going to have to move down a level and risk getting pooed on because that is what's happening down the bottom. The sewage outlet is really out of control. There's <laughs> It's literally, it's collapsed buildings beneath. There's people just wading through poo water. They literally do not care. Like, there's a dog. Oh no, there's actually, there's two dogs there. They're like submer dogs. They've just got their ears poking out so they can hear like what's going on above sea level. But, well, it's not sea. Uh, oh good, the fire department has arrived to hopefully to stop the flood. No, nope, they just, they just got swept away. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, as we as we descend further and further down, uh, the poo just gets worse and worse. I mean, this is the next level down. The entire the entire stair is just a poo to fall. And then down the bottom, down in our trash area, it is just covered in a layer of poo. So yeah, to be fair, this is like perfect habitat for architecture. So a little bit worried there could be like a dystopian <laughs> dystopian uprising. Look up at the, at the state of this. Yeah, the view from the bottom all the way to the top. It's it's beautiful. Now, you might be wondering, well, what is up the top? What could possibly be better than anything beneath it? And it's got to go up the top. Well, I did touch on this before. What could you possibly want more than anything in the world if you don't want to be an architect ending up at the bottom? Well, that is, that is what you get up the top. You get education. You get a high school. You get a college. And you know, as long as you can use your brain, you will not end up down in the pit of dystopian hell. So will this be coming to Saudi Arabia? I mean, I won't lie. There's probably a, quite a high probability they'll design something like this at some point. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the good news is, though, it's not actually too successful. There's, well, as expected, we did breed architecture down the bottom. So there is a very high crime rate in this city. Uh, so happiness, it's actually not, not incredibly happy for a change. But yeah, for now, I'm going to say peace, love, and dystopian staircases. Bye, guys.